ask, ask me uh, like how I edit my uh, Instagram photos. And today I'm going to show you like how I edit my latest photos from uh, I took them in London and I took them by myself actually. So you will see like uh, which apps I'm using and uh, what parts of the photo I adjust to make it look more interesting, more fun, and yeah, more appealing. So let's get to this. So I have to like put on my um, yeah, I have two phones, so I'm filming this with my iPhone 7 Plus. So if you like this video, please subscribe and follow my Instagram. Yes, yeah, thank you. So let's get to it. So uh, these are like uh, the photo editing apps that I'm used mostly. And uh, uh, the first one I'm going to like introduce is uh, Visco. Uh, Visco is really powerful and there's a lot of like uh, filters that have, have been like done for you. So you can just uh, use them. So and today I'm going to edit this photo. Oh, sorry, this one. This one. Yeah, I just, I just took this by myself. Yes. And yeah, I'm going to edit this. Yeah. <clears throat> so uh, these are like these are like the filters that I use mostly: uh, AI one, KP two, C nine, C eight, ten, eight seven, eight eight. Uh, if you like any filters, you can just like uh, yeah, press it and move your finger to the start, so you can save this filter to here. You don't have to uh, select. There's tons of filters here, so you don't have to choose every time. So uh, let me show you guys these filters: uh, A one, AI one, KP two. C9, uh, C8, uh, these two are the ones I use mostly uh, lately for my Instagram. Uh, this is A7, it's 10, A8, it's a little bit dark and gives you like more modern, modern aesthetic. So let me try this one for you guys. Uh, C9, today I'm going to use C9 because it's a little cooler and you see C8, you see it is more warm. So I'm going to use C9, sorry, C9, yes. And when you choose the filter, you can adjust the button to go up or go down. But I always like go up, uh, go up. I didn't quite set these features. So let's go to the uh, adjusting. So you can always bring up the exposures. See, it, it gives like more light to your future, make it more bright, more powerful. I always bring up uh, the exposure to like three or around three. Yeah. <clears throat> and always like contrast, bring up a little bit, like one or two, or oh, maybe 1.5. This for this picture, and I was making it a little more, a little, a little bit more sharpened, so it gives like more details to your pictures. And the clarity, I always bring up like to one to one. Yeah, you don't have to bring up too much for this one. And saturations, if you want, if you want your pictures like look more pa uh, colorful or like, uh, you can always bring up the saturation, or you want it like, to be a little bit vintage, so you can bring it down sometimes. But I always bring up a little bit to one point one, maybe yeah. And here's the white balance. I since the picture is already like it has a cool cool feature, so uh, maybe I'll bring up a little warm warm to this one, and I always bring up the tint so you can see there's a little bit uh, red element in this picture. <clears throat> yeah, maybe we do it one point one. And uh, yeah, yeah, I think uh, you can if you like uh, your legs are short or you don't look tall enough, uh, which is me. So I always adjust the. Uh, angle of this picture, like a uh, screw, you can uh, swipe, swipe left, yeah, swipe left, yes. <clears throat> so you so you can make your lo legs look longer, much longer. Yeah, you can see, but it, it's also really natural. This is secret that how I look so tall in my pictures, <laughs> you know, <laughs> which is a secret I never tell. So after you did this, you can just save, press save button. See, so you can see there's the my photo, and if you like want to utilize these filter settings for all for all pictures, you can just uh. Choose this one picture and uh, click here. Oh, sorry, no. Yeah, you can just uh, click this here button, copy settings, and you can just utilize this uh, settings to all of your pictures just by pasting them. So it like saves a lot of time. But uh, sometimes you, uh, I don't use this one. So yeah, here's my photo, and you can just click here and save to camera roll. So it's been saved into your camera roll. And next, next, I'm going to use uh, PixArt. Uh, this app I just started. Oh. Really try now. Uh, click here and what's wrong? Click here. Yeah. Add our photos here and this one. Yes. Ooh. So many advertisement. Ah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> what the fuck? Yeah. I always use effect. And you can change the color up here. If you want your sky looks like uh, maybe pink or something, you can just um, swipe here. You can change the colors of the sky. Yeah, maybe this one is not. Uh, I'm just trying to like uh, utilize features, uh, introduce you these features for it. So if you want your sky looks pink, you do like this and swipe here, here. Oh, that's really. Ooh. Ooh. No. Uh, 
Where's my... I'm just like... I can't see much. I mean, it's quite different, different, difficult angle. So let's just redo this and... Um, yeah, pink. And you can use this eraser. Uh, there's a eraser, remove color. Or... Uh, yeah, here, eraser. Uh, if you like, uh, don't want this one to be pink, you can uh, just uh, erase this part and by just clicking, wiping, yes. So that's only the sky is <clears throat> becoming pink. Yeah. <clears throat> so it's a really nice feature to use and easy to change the colors of uh, something that's really small part. Maybe you can, maybe you want to change your jeans color or maybe you want to change the color of your face, your sunglasses. It's quite a uh, easy feature to use. And uh, another app that I use mostly is Snapseed. Snapseed, yes. Click here. Ooh. Sorry. Click here. <clears throat> Open from device. Press here. Press this one. And this one I always like uh, use like uh, curves to a little bit light. Yes. A little bit light. Yes. And I feel that my face in this picture is a little bit dark. So I use the brush and I use exposure. I just exposure like one uh, zero point seven. Uh, zero point three. Sorry. And you just wipe your face. Make it a little bit like yeah. Make it a little bit more brighter and you can just click here and there's also you can adjust the saturation here i want i want my sunglasses to look more uh, colorful so you just use this here so you can see my uh, sunglasses becoming more powerful right powerful yes and if you like uh, there's something that's wrong you can always use the uh, Adjusting this to zero though, and you just wipe here so that it doesn't change your change the color of your face. And you click here. Fuck! Oh my god, what's wrong with this app? Yes. So basically, this photo is uh, almost done, and I just want to saturate like my sky a little bit more to uh, to five maybe. Let's just, just swipe, 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 so that the sky looks like more. Dreamy, I like dreamy skies, who doesn't? Yeah, so this photo is almost down, and as you can see, it's more bright, more colorful, more powerful, yeah. So it's ready to be uploaded to my Instagram. So you can just click here and save a copy or save to the original ones. Uh, I usually choose to save a copy so I don't damage the ones that I uh, created before. Yeah, so that's it. And if you guys like uh, like this kind of video, please uh, like this video. Yes, and please comment below if you want to see like more like uh, more photos. Like this is just one kind of like filters I use. And please uh, tell me the way you would like to see. And uh, maybe uh, maybe some clothing, uh, what I wear, or like something that's how I trust my clothing, how I shopping, how I uh, uh, yeah, it's just anything. Just come to me, and I'm I'm really okay with that. And please subscribe to my channel. And yes, of course my of course my Instagram. Yes, so. Tonight, so today is like, bye-bye. Oh,